Right now, we don't have that kind of systemic risk. The whole economy is in danger. The risk here is simply that the Fed doesn't do enough to quickly kill inflation, which everybody wants in the business world. The longer j Powell waits before slamming the brakes on, the more days we'll have like today. He needs to move swiftly because these earnings reports are coming in way too hot, with tons of companies not being able to pass on price increases to customers, others raising their prices like crazy, causing a ton of inflation, and many others that I think are just way too optimistic that cheap money's going to stay forever. So they're doing things they shouldn't do. That's why, as we go to the game plan for next week, I want to highlight which companies are best set up for this moment, which ones could be in danger. My feeling is that after today's disaster, we're actually probably good for another beatdown or two before we settle into what I think will be a feeble midweek rebound, but deserving given how oversold we will be. Monday starts with the classic recessionary, recession resistant stock that I think you got to keep on your radar screen if we open down badly Monday, and that's Coca Cola. I'd be a buyer on weakness because Coke has tremendous pricing power. I'd say the same for PepsiCo on Tuesday, except we have to see what they say about the substantial Russian operations. But once they bite the bullet, I think you got a great buy. General Electric's getting one step closer to its breakup. So I'm only focused on how well its power division is holding up because that's the swing factor. That's the weakest of the three. Are they getting new orders from Russian-inspired energy crises? I hope so. All right, now, how about one of my old favorites, 3M, and its seemingly endless litigation moves? I hope they give us a rundown on the allegedly defective military earplug lawsuit and the groundwater issues so we don't get blindsided by those two incredibly important items that are dragging down the whole company. I expect the numbers to be pretty good otherwise, but don't jump until you read about both. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.